Hi, this video is for my art students. I would like to share with you about artist trading cards. In this video, I will uh, let you know about the rules of creating artist trading cards. I will tell you about all other things that uh, will help you to be successful in uh, creating and trading uh, artist uh, trading cards. So let's first talk about art media. There is no rule. Guys, you can use anything you want. You can use wet art media like watercolors or uh, tempera or acrylic paint. You can use different pen or, um, of any color. I have here black and white, but uh, you also can use uh, metallic colors, metallic paint. You can even use crayons, pen, pencil. You can use colored pencils. You can use markers and you can even use the collage. You can absolutely create um, your trading cards with any art media you want. Now, art support will depend on what type of art media you are choosing to work with. If it will be wet, then you need art support uh, like um, uh, watercolor paper or acrylic paper. A heavy stock would work well for the watercolor. If you're working with a mixed media, then you need mixed media paper. Or if you're working with dry art media, then you need um, art uh, paper or art support that will take that. I'm working sometimes with Bristol paper, but sometimes with watercolor and with other things, including even, guys, look over here. I'm using index cards because I have ton and ton of index cards that I just absolutely can use in any other way. So I just flip them around and I cut out uh, the size. And so let's talk about the size. The size that you need to follow, it's actually the only rule uh, uh, for the uh, artist reading cards should be three and a half by two and a half. That's all. Uh, suggestion is to make artist reading cards on heavy stock. You can exchange virtually. You can just create a mini exhibit of your artist reading cards, but mainly they are used in order to trade. Some artists even sell their cards. Now let's talk about what else artist reading cards besides um, art supplies and art support needs. What styles you can use for artist trading cards and guys you can choose any styles you want so far i worked a little bit over a week and i created many different styles inspirational and uh, not but i um i created everything that just fell in uh, like my brain uh, was thinking about everything that my heart felt, some inspirational, some uh, related to the um, uh, Bible verses, You, but you can do anything you want. You can create in any media, in any art style, in any art genre, in any art movement. You can uh, do anything for some reason i'm leaning toward abstract art when i'm working with small size uh, papers and some you can create in the style of illustration in the style of the uh, greeting cards you can use anything and you can of course work in also mix um, uh, genre or guys, it's all up to you. You can create animals, people, uh, objects. You can do anything you want. And I will be uh, putting more uh, cards into this folder. So it's my kind of temporary fo folder that I found laying around. I just uh, wanted to organize them in the beginning, but my suggestion is, of course, to dedicate a certain um, uh, al uh, like a photo album or uh, uh, like sport trading cards album will do good. You can buy your own additional uh, pages uh, to refill, like sleeves. Uh, they also match two and a half by three and a half size, just like regular athletics uh, trading cards. What else you need to do? So besides 
uh, not having any rules, just one rule about the size. Another thing that I'm highly recommending you guys to do is to um, create a, um, on the back, to write down some information. And what information is important? Let me pull out my little um, paper over here with the list. So, your name is very important. The date when you created it. The name or the title of your artwork, art media that you used to create it. Possible location, you do not need to give your full address. And the number uh, in which you created this artwork, okay? You can also create a catalog and write everything down, who you traded with, when you traded. So um, that all is totally acceptable, and as far as you want to go, it will be all good. Uh, so I will be looking forward to see your styles and ideas for artists trading cards and I hope that uh, you will use this time as you will be creating your artist trading cards just for fun guys there's no rules to follow you do not need to spend too much time on thinking and prepping and doing drafts it just for fun so that you will enjoy this time it's very therapeutic the cards when you're exchanging with your friends can be kept forever i kept some of the cards um that were made by my friends uh for like several decades they are sitting in um just they are living inside of my bible and sometimes i mark some pages with them so they turn from the artist trading cards into bookmarks so uh, you can also put them in a frame, you can put them on the uh, uh, fridge, you can do anything but treasure them, okay, guys? Especially a few years after, you will be really happy that you had um, um, spent time on making these little uh, things, and um, you will remember forever your friends who exchanged with you. Now, how much time, the last point, how much time I spend on them, I allocate about 10-15 minutes on each card for myself because I'm busy. You can uh, spend as much time as you want, okay? I will talk to you later. Leave comments below. Uh, let me know what you think or if you have any questions. Talk to you later. Bye.